Hello, my lovely lot. It's Megagran here again from Valheim Online. Now then, my base is getting too small. It's in the wrong place and it's not very well defensible because my moat's not big enough. It's impossible to make it any deeper because we're so near the water. So, um, so peeps on the server have been discussing this area over here and the buildings that are going to be at spawn. Oh, let me just get rid of that. And there's going to be a lot of building going on around here. So and I don't want to be too close to it. So yeah, so I've decided it's time to move. As you get through the game, you realise how much there is to store, how many items there are in it, and you just need a big base. And I, I want more of a view than just ships going by. So I'm going to be moving, and I'm going to be moving over there. So let me show you what it looks like over there. Or should I say, over here. I like the terrain. I know it's on a hill. What's that critter doing? He's going to come and get me. Or he's going to try anyway. There we go. Out the way. So, yeah. I know it's on a hill. And that might pose some problems with building. But I'm prepared. I'm prepared to take a leap. I've no idea what I'm doing with the building. But I'm going to have a go. Lots of trees to be had. And lots of places to to uh, plant new trees so that's good lots of stone around here that I can nab because I'll need a lot of that I think and a nice view to be had and I think a lot of the building will be out my render distance so I'll see the lake and the trees so the first thing I need to do is to get a flat area I think and I need to mark out an area that I'm going to make flat and just see how much I've got to build up on the bit that uh, extends beyond the flat bit. So I'm thinking to work that out, I need to try and decide what view I want from my front door and try and decide what sort of perspective I want to build in. So I'm going to put these along here. And hope, see it's not even sideways is flat anywhere. It's not flat at all on here. But we've got to start somewhere, haven't we? So I'm going to, let me see, where can I? I I'm just, I'm just going to start from here, I think. Just on the inside, see where it takes me. So I'm going to flatten this out. As wide as I can. Oh, <laughs> didn't think that would do it. Um, okay, let me uh, make another one. Let's see. Uh, crafting. Uh, shall, can I put this off to the side? No, no, it's not going to let me plant it there. Oh, another critter. Let me just, just a minute, critter. Let me just get this in here. Just a minute. Oh, I can put it there. I can put it there. Whoa. <laughs> let me, I need my weapons. There we go. Come on then. There you go. Didn't take much with my bronze maze. Okay. Right, so I'll do a bit more flattening. And I think throughout this build there's going to be a lot of flattening. Um, and a lot of building up. For areas like this. Because I think this is going to be sort of the theme of this build. Uh, a lot of building up like this. Oh, that's not quite good enough. And a lot of digging. Like this. Oh my goodness. Why do I do these things? But I'm sure it'll be worth it in the end. Now, I've tried to work it so that this line here is going to be in the centre of my biggest room. My big room. So, I'm going to go out forwards for the balcony and the door and the front wall and backwards for the back wall and the chimney and oh that's a big hole let me just fill that in there we go and for a back garden because we all need a back garden don't we so i think i've flattened and built enough without actually building anything so 
I'm going to get rid of this middle bit here. And then I need a little bit of a frame along the front bit so it can guide me uh, for when I'm placing down the stone. Right, I'm just finishing off this uh, frame bit here. Needed a bit more wood. Uh, this isn't going to stay. It's just to guide me with placing the stones, as I've said, and uh, this will disappear when I've done. So, placing my first stone. This is exciting. So I'm going to start it right there. They're going along nicely. That looks a long way off that floor. Oh! Oh, I'm not covered by my stone cutter. I thought it would cover a lot, a, a bigger area than that. Right, I'm going to have to move it. I built this temporary thing to, to put that in, thinking it would cover the whole bill, but obviously not. It's just like the workstation, isn't it, really? Silly me. Okay, so where am I going to put it? Uh, let me see, where is it? There it is. Uh, let me see. Uh... Well, I'll, I'll just put it in the middle here. That'll do. That'll be fine. Okay. So, I needed two iron for the stone cutter, so I couldn't start or think about building before I got that. And uh, I'll be showing you some of our exploits, uh, getting ores and stuff, in the next video. Right, that's right off the floor. And I'm surprised that actually stayed there. Well, I bet I can't get another one on. <laughs> no, I didn't think so. Okay, well, that's fine. I need my building up thing now. So, I need my hoe. Let me get that out. I've got, I've got a fair bit of stone in there, so let's pop that in there. Have a little nibble. Now, I just want it to come up to the stone. There we go, and oh, it's still not uh, on the floor there, so I need a bit more up here. Oh, right. Let me get to where I want it to come down to, and I'll see if I can flatten that. Uh, let's see. Oh, perfect. Right, second layer. I want it to look nice at the front, sort of a brickwork pattern, if I can get that. Seems to be going on okay. Oh, need more stone. Need more stone. And I think um, all the stone in this area is going to go into my build because it's needing an awful lot. But I won't bore you with watching me pick at all these <laughs> boulders and stones up here. We'll get back to building. Right, I think this frame can go now because I've got this front bit in and I want to start putting a floor in. Because, I'm obviously, as you can see, I'm working from the front to the back. I have no idea whether that's what I should be doing, but that's what I'm doing because that's all I know how to do. So, I want this stone floor in the largest area of the house. So, um, I wasn't quite sure how much of this to fill in. I don't want to waste my stone, so I'm only filling it as I'm going along. And where there's no support for the, uh, for the stones. And they seem to be going in fairly well once I've done that. So. Right, time for some more stone. Let's see. My, my uh, area is getting wider and... Wi oh! Oh! Oh, I've got a troll raid. Let me just get back in my base. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, let's see where they're coming from. Oh, he's right there. Right there. Right. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if I can get... Uh, oh, I can, no, I'm hitting the fence. So is he. Can I get high, a bit higher? No, I've not even hit him once yet. Oh, my goodness. I can't get to him. Wait, where can I go? Oh, I haven't set this up really well, have I? No, no, stay over there. Ha! Starting to get him now. There we go. Let me get a bit further back. 
Yes, you concentrate on the bridge. You just... See, it's coming down anyway. You can help. <laughs> oh, I don't know where that other one's gone. I'll just focus on this one, I think. Now, I should be able to get up here. Right. Priming position. Come on, come on. It's going, it's going. I'm going to get you, troll. I'm going to get you. You just focus on that. Oh, lost me sad stamina. Oh, that was a waste. Let's see if we can get a bit further over here. Oh. No, don't go to the fence. Get back, get back. All right, nearly done, nearly done. Nearly got him, nearly got him. Come on. One more. Ha. Oh my goodness me. I don't know where that other one's gone. That's it now. That was really weird. It just walked off, that other one. Oh, coin's always welcome, but, oh, you know, talk about distraction. I'm not putting this back up again. I'll just put a simple one on here. Well, at least I've got some wood. These are going in nice and easy. And I like the way they look. Now for the front... Um, this is going to be the front wall and because after the elder fight there was so much core wood I decided to utilize that and I think we're going to use that all along the front wall well we'll see how it looks if it looks okay that's fine uh, can I overlap that like it's like a it's like a cabin in the woods isn't it no no because that it won't reach the other post then if I put the, the other post two bricks apart or two two yeah so if I put that there, I'm going to try these on top of each other first. Now, my first thought is that it looks a bit solid, but I'm putting a window in um, just to see whether that changes the look at all. I like that little window. A bit high up, actually. I might move that down. Oh. Oh, what have I done there? Two... Two of these and oh, I can't get my window in there. I've obviously calculated that a bit wrong. Oh dear. Okay, I'm going to have to put a couple of extra of the stone floor um, blocks in there, I think. Uh, that's not a great problem. Now then, uh, so I want... Uh, Two more. On here, I think. Oh, need more stone. Now then, on both sides, I'm going to have extra rooms. And on this side, I'm going to have my bedroom. Eventually. And then there's going to be another wall here. Now I fancy a round bedroom. Um, you know, I'm like we're round, round buildings. So I'm going to have a bit of roundness on this one as well. And I'm going to come out two, two um, straight. And then I'm going to go one turn. Like that. And that fits there just nicely. I didn't actually plan that. I thought I might have to um, extend that a little bit. Now I need to get this floor in. And uh, I'm finding it a little bit of difficulty attaching it to the stone. That's better. That It goes on there better. So, oops. So I'll start it from there, I think. But I want it that way around. There we go. For a little bit of decoration, I'm putting these little logs all the way around. Yeah, I think that looks really, really nice. I like that. Let's have a look at it from the outside. Whoops, not that. Hmm. Now, I'm not a fan of that wood cut at the bottom there. Those, I think I'd like this to be stone as well underneath there. Yeah, that's looking good, I think. Uh, now I'm going round here as well, but that the stone is fitting really nicely together. Look at that. I like that. Uh, 
So it's like it's almost like I'm turning it and then I'm pushing it into the stone before. Yeah, I like that. Now then, I want to try and get this roof on before it rains again. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to work through the night because you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm hoping I can get this on before getting nasty rain. And it might be a bit tricky, this, as we work upwards, but we'll see. That's going in nicely, look. Sort of overlaps a bit there. Now this bit here, I think I'm gonna I'm adding this on the bottom because I don't like that wooden plank there. It doesn't look right. So I'm just getting rid of that and adding the log again. Right, I think I'm hoping I'm gonna get this finished as the morning breaks. I think. Let's see if I can get this this little bit done here. Oh, come on, get in there. Get in. Oh, I don't think that's right. Didn't know. Look, it's, it's, it sticks out a bit there. Oh, I don't know how else to do that. I'm going to leave that there for a bit and uh, might come back to that. I'll have to see what it looks like on the outside, actually. It might look all right on the outside. And I want this little sticky out bit here because it looks a lot better, I think, than just finishing off... Um, level with the walls so I turn that yeah now I'm a bit precarious up here but uh, I can't do this from down there yeah that's going on okay actually let's get this on it's a bit tricky is this stuff to put on but I had a bit of practice with my last base so it's not too bad Right, now I've um, got that done. I think I'd like to work on my chimney because that's going to be the centrepiece of my big room and it's going to be opposite my front door. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll put this on the edge there and my chimney is going to fit. Inside those. Okay, now then, we've got some arches here. Can I put these here? Let me turn this round here. That's it. Okay, and can I have these on here? Because I want to put the hearth on there. No. Oh, more stone. Now, it's a big hearth. It covers two stones width. Look, that's going to be a nice big fireplace, isn't it? And then I'm going to have these stone walls around it, I think. To start off with anyway, in this bit here, I think it will probably be stone bricks further up. Can I fit this around there? There we go. Oh, a bit of a gap there. Right, I moved that hearth a bit further back so that gap was filled in, so that's all right. And... I'm thinking that I'll extend the floor to the back of the fire so that I can have my storage on either side of the fire. So first I need to dig out a bit more of this uh, oh, critters. Oh, at least the resin comes in useful. Yeah, need more space. There we go. Hmm, I like this round bit here. I like this round bit quite a lot, but I can't say that I like these logs for the walls. I think I'm okay with the fireplace. I might add some more bits to it. I'll keep looking at it. Now that I've added them all around, I just do not like them one bit. Now, while I'm thinking about what I can do different about them walls, I'm just putting some storage in here temporarily because this is going to be my bedroom. And this is going to be open here, but I've brought these down a bit too low, so I'm just going to change. So I've taken those bottom bits out and I'm going to put these in instead. And I think that looks a lot better. Now, I've had a, a rethink of this back wall thing and I think 
I think I'm making this too wide because I think I'm going to have a lot of problems getting a roof on, to be honest. So I think I'm going to bring this back wall in. Let me just get these out of the way. Um, and I think I'm going to bring this back wall to this level here. I can still get chests sideways on, so I think I'll be all right. And I've seen a sort of a pattern using the big crosses on a big building. I don't know what it looked like on a small one like this, but I'm going to have a go and see what it looks like because I quite liked the pattern. So I'm just going to put these all the way across. Now, I really do like that. I really, really like that, although I've got a gap. This is going to have to come down. I'm going to have to start this bit again, I think. Because I wanted to take those flooring bits out and put this brick around it. And I couldn't have done that with that still up there. So, a little bit of levelling. And I should be able to put these all around the outside. Which is, to my mind, where they should be. There we go. And then one more to get out on this side. There we go. And it's easy enough to build this back up again, especially using these wall bits. Whoops, nearly in the fire then. At least it's not lit at the moment. There we go. Now it's just a matter of building up the chimney. And this is going to stick up above the roof, of course, because that's what chimneys do, don't they? And I'll have something wooden on top of it, I think. Right, let's have a look. I filled in those side gaps with some more stone. I think that looks all right. Now, I've had to think um, quite a bit about this roof because I just wasn't sure how this would go together. And as Flu's rightly pointed out, I can't have it too high, otherwise I won't be able to support it. So I've gone with the 26 degree thatch to keep it lower. And I'm trying... I'm trying to put this on top of actually do you know what if I put one of these on I might not need to put one on top of the other and this might be a bit more stable so I'm going to try these down here instead let's just put that one there although those do take up quite a bit of room No, no, far too many. No, I can't have that many. It's going to look too cluttered with those in. So I'm going to have to try and support the room from these here. So let's see what happens. If I get that on there. Let's get this on here. Can I get that on there? And hopefully that's going to be in the middle. Can't really tell because it doesn't snap in there, does it? So now I'm getting these pieces in that are going to support the rest of the roof. And it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky because I didn't have a plan. <laughs> um, let's see where this goes. Uh, right, okay. I'm not sure what that's going to join to, but I'm hoping it will be helpful in keeping the roof up. So I'm going to do the same on this side. I mean, those look like supports to me. Can I get this on here? Uh. Ha! There we go. Now, that hasn't gone together very well, has it? That didn't snap to... I think it's because they're not probably exactly in the same place, those pillars down there. Let me take this off. I'll probably put it back on later. When I've got something to attach it to. So, I'll just do this side now as well. Uh, not that one, this one. There we go. Okay, uh, that one. And, uh, no, no, I want um, the 26 degree one and I want it with this extra bit on. Like that. Okay, and then if I turn that around, that looks like it's meant to be there. And then I'm hoping if I carry this on up to there, 
that that's going to be enough support for the rest of the roof. And I quite like that shape it's creating. I like that. Okay, so I've been working on the supports and I like this effect. I like this that I'm getting. I like what I'm seeing. I like this space. But I think it's made the walls where I've put the logs horizontally. I think it's made them look worse. Oh, that roof is dire. I'm, I'm going to have to do something about that. I like the veranda bit. And I think I'm going to have to do something different, though, for the top bit of the roof. I'll have to think about that. Yeah, I like the veranda bit. I don't think I want to change the inside of this at all. But these walls definitely have to go. Definitely. So, I like that fireplace. Um, I've just changed this left-hand side here. Just want to see what impact that has on how it looks from the front. Oh, yes. Oh, that is much better. Yeah, I like that. Right, I've still got the other side of the front wall to do, but I wanted to do this bit first. So this is where my uh, smell tree is going to go. And it's going to be very similar to my bedroom, except it's going to be square. And I've created another gap in the corner here, but that's where the stones come in. So I'm going to end this episode here while I finish off this smeltery bit and think about what I'm going to do for the roof bit because it needs a radical overhaul, I think. So in the meantime, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, I do like this space though. I love it. Really do. Hmm. Those logs will have to go though.